Hello everybody, welcome back to ZAPR and Zap Academy. So our dear subscribers, welcome back to this thrilling SAP Build Code video series. And in this highly anticipated second installment, we delve into the fascinating world of AI-based code generation using SAP's own in-house generative AI copilot called SAP Joul. And built on SAP BTP, SAP Build Code is a revolutionary tool which is optimized for Java and JavaScript application development, providing a complete coding, testing, integration, and application lifecycle management environment. But that's not all. Remember our last video, wherein we touched upon the extensibility, as in the side-by-side -side extensibility using SAP Build Code, and how SAP Build Code comes into that picture. So in this video, get ready to connect the dots as we explore how SAP Build Code takes this concept to new heights with the help of Joule Copilot. So now let's understand the various capability that SAP Build Code provides, considering the fact that what are the various considerations that how it can increase developers' productivity. So definitely it helps in turbocharging application development with generative AI. That's what we have been talking about. That's the main game changer. So AI Copilot auto generates application logic and data models. It provides automated generative AI test coverage. You get contextual application logic code generation based on prompts. Yes, we are right. You provide prompts and you get your application logic code generated. And the best part is you can have your automatic sample data generation also based on this generative AI code assistant. It provides a simplified and guided development approach as in guided development to quickly build SAP Fiery apps whether you want to build it on web, mobile or full stack. You get built-in guidance and SAP best practices for developers to create enterprise grade applications. And the best part is you get a lot of extensibility for SAP S4 HANA and the other solutions. And the other biggest factor which with respect to the simplified and guided development is that you get to use the visual tools or any programming language of your choice whether it is JavaScript or TypeScript or Java or any other language. And with respect to SAP build code. The other capability that you get is it provides high productivity environment for developers wherein you get a unified development experience for all SAP applications and extensions and you get a better collaboration between your pro code and your low code developers as in you whatever apps that you the backend application that you build via SAP build code it can easily be consumed by a a build application that a low code developer wants to build by consuming your backend application that you would have created via SAP build code. So making you a walkthrough of the SAP build code and its various components on a very high level if you see, the SAP build lobby facilitates the fusion development as in it provides a single entry point for all business users and developers who wants to build on SAP BTP via SAP build code. So as I said, SAP build lobby is the starting point to create a backend application in SAP build code. And what are the different applications that you can create using the Gen AI based application services? So whether if you are from a fairy skill set, so definitely you can go for an UI development either using an SAP UI5 freestyle or based on SAP Fiery elements or the SAP web components or if you want to do the mobile service based development you can go for the mobile development kit and build your mobile services or if you want to use your cloud application programming language concept to build your CAPM based applications definitely you have that flexibility as well if you want to build your CAPM applications and the best part is that you can have a choice of UI type either for web or for mobile whether you want to build application using SAP Fiery elements or using the mobile development kit. And as I already talked about, it helps to give you a secure and trusted integrations via its different runtime services. So as of now, on the runtime services, the Cloud Foundry is included, but the Kaima runtime would be added soon. 
and the best part is that it easily integrates via your SAP integration suite and even to your SAP BTP BAP environment. And talking about the different runtime services, so you have your CI CD services, whether you want to use your SMTP connectivity services or the destination services, so you get all your inbuilt features with respect to your SAP build code. So I can definitely say that. SAP Build Code provides a unified development experience for its different SAP applications and extensions where you get an overview of all its different project assets whether it is based on CAP data models and services, whether it is based on SAP Fairy Elements application or whether it is based on mobile development kit apps or whether you want to use any kind of other services such as document management or you want to consume any external services like S4 HANA APIs. And the other good aspect about SAP build code is that you can discover and consume the APIs and events, the different business services. You can use the pre-built integrations with SAP and non-SAP applications that can help to maintain the business con context. You get an unified IT governance, the transport management and your application lifecycle management. And I already talked about the biggest benefit is that where you get a unified lobby, your single entry for all your projects, wherein you can consume the components that are created with SAP build code in SAP build apps, or you can consume those same components which are created by SAP build code in either SAP business process automation, or if you want to use an SAP build work zone. So with SAP build code, now you can expedite development with the help of generative AI, implement SAP best practices, provide seamless integration and achieve better collaboration between your citizen developers and professional local developers. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned and subscribe to us to get the latest updates on SAP build code. Thank you.